back in my right mind again. Hard to believe Doc Ock got me to join the Sinister Six. Especially when Aunt May can't even get me to join her book club. Well, I guess that's why they call it mind control. I'm just lucky the Hobgoblin was there to bail me out, would you say? I haven't been able to say anything with you blabbering all the time. Don't be so formal, Pete. I may be the Hobgoblin. I'm still your old pal Harry. I'll... Let's keep the identities a secret, okay? Sorry, I'm still new to this old superhero thing. Maybe, but we already make the perfect crime-fighting team. I mean, we took down Vulture, Spider Slayer, and Steel Spider. All that's left is Rhino and Ock. Doc Ock will be the toughest to bring down. Plus, fighting Rhino is like fighting a freight train. Yeah, but we still need to answer for the damage they caused. I'm getting a police report that the Rhino is rampaging through uptown Manhattan. Let's hit him on! <laughs> Don't forget, that's Alexi. He may be a rampaging rhino, but he's still our friend. Can't give up on a friend, no matter how vicious they get. How about me? Give up if they get too big? Not a chance. Should we try the old web glider takedown? One of my favorites. Hey, Alexi! I heard you like to dance. Check out this new move. I call it the Rhino Shuffle. Oh, nice! Well, it's not nearly as cool as this move. Oh, Goblin! Fit right in here at the zoo. Hey! No good? Then let's see what's behind curtain number two. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hey, you okay? What was that? My new high tech finger blaster. It's sweet, huh? No, I mean you blacked <clears throat> out. Are you all right? Probably just not used to this superhero schedule. What's next? Search for Doc Ock? No. Next, you need to see a doctor. <laughs> Relax, Aunt May. I'm sure I just need some rest. We just took down four of the Sinister Five. <laughs> Can't a guy get a break? Okay. Go home and get some rest. You need to be in top form if we're gonna defeat Doc Ock. But then promise me you'll get checked out by a doctor. <laughs> Will do. Hey, nice work for a Sunday. Thanks. Although it's Monday. What? I can't believe it. I was late for the first day of school, and now I'm gonna be late for the last. And the award for perfect attendance goes to... <laughs> In your dreams, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Anya Corazon. Wow, Anya, you're gonna have to design a special trophy case for all your awards. I did. That's what this one is for. Where were you all morning, son? Uh, just hanging out with Pete. But I'm gonna go lie down, feeling a little spent. Wow, congrats, guys. I wish I had won something. You did! Most likely to miss an award ceremony. I made it myself. Oh, thanks. Luckily, Peter's grades make up for his lack of awards. Max, there's an intruder in lab 319. 319? That's Otto's old lab. I thought that ridiculous award ceremony would have kept you occupied for at least another hour. No bother, I got what I came for. Leave me a message. Harry, I found Doc Ock at Horizon High. Could use your help. You want what? villain takedown or crowd control? Get everyone back in the auditorium. I'll take down Ock. Crowd control it is. Security alert! Prepare to be destroyed! Max, we gotta get the students into the auditorium where it's safe. Never dreamed you'd come crawling back to Horizon High. Wasn't taking over Oz Academy enough? Are you trying to put out your resume? Uh, uh. Hey, 
did that on purpose. You know, there are easier ways of getting ahead in life, right? Like if you'd stayed my teammate and fought on the side of good. Make no mistake, Spider-Man. There are many reasons for my ship's toward villainy. But your dopey quips were reason enough to end our partnership. That's okay, because guess what? I've got a new partner! Your contraptions can't hold me forever! Again with the new tech? Oh man, you're just full of surprises. What? I didn't mean I wanted more of them. What was that about? There's only room for one of us in this city, Spider-Man. And it's going to be the Hobgoblin. Harry, what are you doing? There is no one else! Only Hobgoblin! Back off, Bobby! Hang on, Spider-Man. This looks like an electromagnetic link. Get out of here before you get hurt! No way! If we can cut the current, we should be able to get you out! All of you are protecting a criminal! Spider-Man is a menace! Cut your senses or join the Hobgoblin and bring him down! Be destroyed alongside him! Girls, get clear! Almost there... Almost isn't gonna cut it! Unless I use the bomb's momentum to reverse the trajectory! What did you do to upset the Hobgoblin? I have no idea. But I'm gonna find out. And what at first seemed like a takedown of Dr. Octopus soon turned into a battle between Spider-Man and the Hobgoblin. You people are protecting a criminal. Spider-Man is a menace. And when you've come to your senses, you'll join the Hobgoblin in bringing him down! Based on Spider-Man's recent involvement with the Sinister Six, this reporter wonders if the Hobgoblin might have a point. Oh, Peter. Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Osborne. I'm trying to reach Harry. He wasn't feeling well earlier, so I thought I'd check in. May I speak with him? Oh, that, that's nice of you, Peter, but he's been asleep all afternoon. Must need the rest. I'll tell him you called. He'll be happy to know his friend is concerned. Thanks, Mr. Osborne. I think I'll pay Harry a visit regardless. Harry, are you up? Your friend Peter called uh, and... Harry! Son! What's wrong? Uh, where am I? Why am I in my hobgoblin gear? Because you've been busy. Look! What? I don't remember that. Spider-Man is a menace. And when you've come to your senses, Why would I do such a thing? I think down. you're stepping into the light, Harry. Your subconscious must be taking over. Turning you into the hero our family and this city needs. I, I don't understand. How could... Think about it. All those serums you tested on yourself to find my cure. All those trials. Who knows what effect it's had on you. But... Just rest, son. You should be proud of yourself. You're finally achieving the greatness I've always envisioned for you. Pete! What's going on? I thought we were cool with each other. We are. I, I don't know what happened. You attacked me is what happened. I know. I, I mean, I saw it on the news, but I don't remember any of it. I must have blacked out again. Look, if you're still angry about Oz Academy, I get it. But can we talk about it like normal people? I swear I've forgiven you! At least I think I have. What's that supposed to mean? I don't know. Something my dad said. What if deep down, I haven't forgiven you, and my subconscious is acting out? 
All the more reason to see a doctor. No! I'm afraid to. When I was trying to find a cure for my dad, I... I experimented on myself. I'm not proud of it, but it's what I had to do to save him. I'm not sure what's coursing through my veins. And I'm terrified at what I might have done to myself. Harry, listen to me. We are two of the brightest minds in this city. The best way to solve this thing is with a team-up. I agree, Pete. But I can't be with you. It's not safe. You've got to get as far away from me as possible. You're my best friend, Harry. I just want to... I know, but you can't. Look, you told me once that you couldn't share your secret with me because it would put me in danger. And now it's my turn. For your own protection, you've got to stay away until I can figure this out. Fine, but I hope you'll change your mind. I can't help feeling Harry is making a mistake. But why am I surprised? This building is a monument to geniuses who've made poor decisions. Otto Octavius, Adrian Toomes, Doc Connors. If only Harry could learn from them and accept my help. Maybe that's it. Maybe friends don't take no for an answer. Spider sense. I told you I wouldn't rest until you were destroyed, Spider-Man. You are a blemish on society. I intend to take you out. No! <laughs> Good luck surviving this. the race. Did you get up? Yes. Did you run, even though you were hurt? Uh-huh. Well, Petey, if you ask me, you're a hero in my book. Because winning isn't always about coming in first, my boy. Sometimes it's pushing when it seems like you can't, or getting up when people think you're down. And that's what you did. Heck, you probably inspired someone else out there today. Because the only time you really lose is when you stop trying. You remember that. You're right, Uncle Ben. Yes. Stop trying. I have to be the hero you see in me. I have to be Spider-Man. Spider-Man, you okay? Police scanner said that you were being attacked. It was the Hobgoblin again, but he got away. No, he didn't. I hit him with the spider tracer when I swung in. Figured helping out a friend was more important than chasing the bad guy. Thanks. You've always got my back. That's what friends do. Not always. I hate to say it, but Hobgoblin is really Harry Osborne. Yeah, I kind of guessed that. His tech might be updated, but it's still the same gear. Turns out all his anger at Spider-Man may have caused him to snap, but I feel like I need to help him. You want me to come with you? No. Check to make sure everyone here is okay. Besides, if I can't reach him on my own, then I'm not the friend I thought I was. I know this place. Last time I was here, Norman Osborn had me trapped next to Kraven the Hunter. There, I'm in. But if memory serves, it was blown to bits. Looks like Harry's subconscious has been doing more than fighting. It's also been redecorating. Whoa! I'm surprised you followed me, Spider-Man, knowing I'm the one who will bring you down. Harry, we can work this out together! Just let me help you! You got it wrong, my friend. You're the one who's going to need help. Hugging all the heroism? Taking all the credit for curing Spider Island? Well, tonight the life end! Where am I? 
Must have blacked out again. I'm going to find out who you are and expose your secret to the city! Find out who I am? You're not Harry! Who is it, Spider-Man? Who's been framing me? Dad! What? Harry? Why? To fulfill your destiny. I know you can become a hero, Harry. That's why I created Oz Academy. To mold you. To encourage you. To turn you into something better. That's why you got me suspended from Horizon High, isn't it? So you can keep a closer eye on me. I couldn't let that fool Max Modell destroy my legacy. You needed a true mentor. Someone who could create what this city needed. A new hero for the younger generation. But then Spider-Man showed up, stole the very job I envisioned for you. And now you're stealing it from me! I knew you didn't have the stomach to destroy Spider-Man. So I decided to do it for you. Knowing once he was gone, you could take the credit. You're not doing this for me, you're doing it for yourself! I'm doing it for the Osborne name! Let him go, Norman! Once Spider-Man is gone, the world will know that the Hobgoblin is their savior. Dad, no! I... No! Quickly, son. We can still save ourselves. The Osborne legacy must survive! Harry, get me out of these! Harry, please. Come with me. I'm your father. <sighs> now destroy Spider-Man. Fulfill the Osborne legacy. Don't do this! I can't, Dad. I mean, I won't. Then you failed me, and deserve what you've wrought. We have to get out of here. Mr. Osborne? Sir? Sir? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh... I still think of my father when I hear that. Call me Harry. Very well, Harry. You have a few condolences on your voicemail. And there's uh, Peter Parker here to see you. Oh, great. Send him in. I didn't know if your new schedule left you time to meet me at Joe's, so I brought the smoothies to you. Thanks, pal. How you doing? <sighs> okay, I guess. It's just, after everything that's happened, I, I miss my father. And yet, in some ways, I feel like I never even knew him. And now I'm expected to take over his position. That's enough to make a person's head spin. Well, speaking scientifically, the best way to fight dizziness is to focus on the thing in front of you. You're right, Pete. Thanks for being such a good friend. I hope the corporate world takes to me like you do. Just be yourself, Harry. That's all anyone expects. See you tomorrow. Congratulations, Harry. What? You're finally in a position of power. You won't be in my shadow anymore, son. I know you'll do great things with the Osborne name. But to make sure, I've left you some things that might help. 
I can't believe an entire school year has passed already. Seems like yesterday you were worrying whether you could even go here. I'm awfully proud of you, Peter. And so is Uncle Ben. <laughs> I know. Peter! Would you look at that? You're finally on time! Too bad the school year's over. <laughs> well, I'm just here to clean up my locker. Well, I'm glad I caught you. I wanted to tell you how far I think you've come this year. Thanks, Max. It's a shame what happened to your statue. Luckily, the workers can fix it while they're putting up the new addition. What new addition? The one of Spider-Man. What? Really? But why? Well, the faculty decided he's done so much for the students of Horizon High that he's practically become our mascot. So, why not? Wow! Oh, come on! You're ruining the image! Shoo! Shoo! That's okay, Peter. It'll take more than that to tarnish Spider-Man. Couldn't agree more.